Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial on configuring Microsoft Edge IE mode via group policy. The topics covered will include creating a SiteList XML file, installing the Microsoft Edge policy templates, creating the group policy object, and testing your configuration. There are three primary prerequisites for this project. You'll need an Active Directory domain, you'll need a list of websites you wish to configure in IE mode, and you'll need the Microsoft Edge policy templates. There is also a Enterprise Site List Manager application if you would prefer not to edit the XML files manually. To begin, we're going to configure a Site List XML. I'll paste in an example here. Each Site List contains a overall site tag, the site URL, the compatibility mode, and the open in tag. When you specify the site URL, it is important to make sure that you are not specifying HTTP or HTTPS as long as you want the specified site URL to apply to both. The second tag is the compatibility tag. This will accept arguments such as IE8 Enterprise, IE7 Enterprise, or IEX, where X equals the desired IE version. You can also leave it at default or not specified, and that will load the site using the default compatibility mode for that page. The open in tag accepts arguments including IE11 to open in Internet Explorer mode, MS Edge to open the site in Edge, and none or not specified, which will open the site in whatever the default browser is. Once your site list is configured as desired, save it somewhere on your computer. Make sure that you specify if using Notepad all files and put XML on the end of the file otherwise it will save as a text. Once you have saved the file open the location, copy it and place it in a shared folder. It's important that this folder have at least read access for everyone in the domain so that the GPO can properly read it to apply the changes. To download the policy files, we will go to aka.ms forward slash edge enterprise, scroll down, select your channel, build, and platform. I'll be selecting the latest and 64-bit for these. Then hit Get Policy Files, Accept and Download. Once the file is downloaded, hit Open, right-click on the zip, Extract, hit Extract, go to the location you extracted the file, right-click on the resulting zip and hit Extract again, Next, open Windows, ADMX, scroll down, highlight the bottom three files, and also highlight the appropriate folder for your language. Copy. Next, we will browse to the sysvol folder, which can be located by entering your domain name, backslash sysvol, and hitting Enter. Open the folder contained within and then policies and policy definitions. If you do not have a policy definition folder, you can safely create one at this stage, which will create your central store. Paste the files inside. Next, open group policy management, expand your forest, domains, and your domain. In this case, I will be applying this policy to all PH computers. Right-click, create a GPO in the domain, and link it here. Name your policy. And hit OK. Right-click, edit the policy. In this case, we will be creating a computer policy. So under Computer Configuration, 
expand policies, administrative templates, and you should now see the Microsoft Edge folders. We will open Microsoft Edge. You may find it beneficial to sort this by alphabetical. And next we need to locate the Configure Enterprise Mode site list. Once you have located this entry, double click it. Select Enabled. Under Options, enter the location with the file name that you configured earlier. Hit Apply and OK. One other thing to note is that there are actually three ways to specify this file location. Although in this case we're using a local network share, it is also possible to use an HTTPS location or a local file. Next, locate the Configure Internet Explorer integration option. Double click it. Set to Enabled. And set to Internet Explorer mode. Then Apply and OK. Now that we have created our policy and applied it to the computer OU, the next step is to make sure that it actually applies to the client. On this client computer, I'm going to run gpupdate slash force and wait for that to complete. Once the policy update has completed, because this is a computer policy, I'm going to reboot the client. Once the computer reboots, we can now test to be sure the policy has applied correctly. Please note, for this example, I have configured the previous XML so that it only applies to Microsoft.com, is set to open in IE Enterprise, in IE mode. We'll open Microsoft Edge, go to Microsoft.com, and when it loads, you will see that there is a IE icon in the upper left-hand corner. This icon will show you that it is opening in IE mode. It'll show you the compatibility mode, the zone, and the protected mode. 